Well, this side was supposed to be better than the other side. The other side's done for the most part. I just smoked a couple small things and whatever, but it's it's done. And come around this side and start getting into it, and the inner rocker was trashed, outer rocker trashed, um, hole in the floor. Um, so I think the biggest thing, this is, when people do this, it's not, not a, I mean, it's, it's a big deal, but it's not like, it's, it's not something that you see all the time. It's not like it's not something you see all the time on these Jeep XJs because the rockers tend to hold, well, a lot of vehicles do. Um, they get salt and brine up inside there and then they get rock chips and it exposes the metal and then the metal starts to rust and then before you know it, it just spreads all over the place and it's like cancer. The thing I didn't anticipate was when I got to this side, I there's a bump stop that goes right there and keeps the axle from coming up and hitting the frame. Well, it reached underneath there and it, the bump stop was gone, but it had a bunch of flaky rust. And so I knocked that deal off there and it fell and then it popped a hole when it fell. And I'm like, okay, well, now I'm gonna have to make a patch. Well, then I reached underneath here and I grabbed a hold of this and I pulled on it and the whole thing just went out all over the floor. And I was like, crap. Because it's a unibody, it doesn't have a frame frame. It's the frames built into the actual floor. So I came back here, figured out where the spot welds were and just cut inside, tried to cut inside the frame, which I did a pretty, pretty good job. But the frame is just gone. It's just eaten away to nothing. All the stuff in here was rusted solid. There's a piece of probably 316 plate C channel that goes up in there that your bump stop actually um, bolts to. It was gone, like literally just eaten all the pieces. So any anywhere stuff was sandwiched, it just it just got rust in between it and it had to take all this um there's a gas tank cover all that stuff was rusted i had to take a torch and torch all that stuff off um yeah so that's what i'm doing um i when i started out i was gonna do some light rust repair, um, replace the quarter panels, and um, fix the floor, hold the floor, whatever. wasn't going to be that big a deal, but once I once I got done with that side, and it was a bigger deal than I thought, but I was like, okay, I spent a lot of time and and we spent a lot of money on that side. I thought, you know, this side, which this is better. I didn't have to split this one in half and do all that but I will have to make a piece here. But, yeah, this side was way worse, way, way worse. So, went ahead and cut all that out, and uh, you can see here I've got the new inner and outer um, rocker panel. And so, I will have to, this must be like a rule that if you roll around in a chair, that any wires or cables have to get caught in the wheels and uh, it's got to be a law or something it just has to be because it happens constantly um, so I'm gonna have to sp splice this one because we're gonna put the uh, what are they called sliders in there but I want to go ahead and replace these with new metal and this with new metal because they were gone they were just so bad so far gone oh back to that so what am i going to do about that i consider trying to take a piece of three by four um three sixteenths steel box and building a frame for it but my friend has 
in 89 that's the same body style or same well there's they're basically identical 80, 80, 89 and 90 no 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 my bad 98 and 99 that's what this is 98 and 99 are pretty much identical and he's got one that the whole uh it's been wrecked but the frame is still good so i'm going to cut the frame out of this from back here to i've decided right up here where it actually splices together i think that's where it is get underneath here for a second no right here so that whole piece i'll cut that completely out and then i'll drill carefully drill the one out of his jeep and put it back exactly like this so that's the plan because we can't have that's that's it's just not safe at all and so i don't know how you fix that other than putting box steel in there which would be fine and would be strong but since i have a donor jeep might as well just go ahead and do that so at some point i'm gonna bring that jeep over here and take that panel i may end up having to do the other side too but anyway this back piece and then put that in that'll be a pretty big job because i'm gonna have to drop the rear end um and cut some of that stuff out and it's uh that'd be a pretty big pretty big deal but anyway that's what we're gonna do <clears throat> because why not right because when you can might as well um you guys remember this side this one like i said is pretty much done you can see i put the angle in there that's where my c channel or my uh i can see channel my um slider will go up in there and then you see i went ahead and put the stiffener frame stiffeners on there that worked out real nice so this side is sweet so yeah literally all i have to do is prep that slider put it up in there weld it in done um yeah so that's that's what i'm doing if anybody's wondering and yeah i kicked the camaro to the to the corner for a bit um i don't plan on having this for you know a year or two or whatever but um i've already fitted those in there they fit really nice all i gotta do is prep it weld through prime weld it on there um, make a couple of patch panels uh, i hopefully it doesn't take too awful long um that side the um quarter panel was now it's really actually pretty easy other than seaming welding that whole thing which really wasn't too bad either um i just cut split this i don't know if i said this in the video or not on the other side cut that right down the center and then i was able to get to the back side and put seam sealer across it and then paint it and so it's all painted inside seam sealed that's going to be good to go this jeep had to come from michigan wisconsin somewhere where it was it just snowed and had salt constantly because there was so much white salt powder all over every i've already cleaned this to a, to a degree and i think what i'm going to do is take some vinegar and just clean everything that i can um and then wash it back off and then scuff it and shoot it with either paint or epoxy primer one or the other but yeah but you can yeah it, even like up in here it's just there's a white there inside the doors uh it's a white film you see all the panels i cut out there it's all here all that and that back door didn't want to come off because the bolt was rusted into it and i ended up having to grind the head off completely because this thing is like fixed in there um i'm gonna have to drill that out retap it or take this completely out which i might be able to do and use one off the donor jeep if that'll come out of there i haven't looked 
but anyway that's what i'm doing you guys wondering uh anybody wants to follow an xj build and see what what it entails this is this is it uh for all the rockers and quarters and stuff like that um lots of spot welds you're gonna have to cut out inside spot welds in here um this was all seam seal caked up seam sealer i had to heat that up and and uh scrape all that seam sealer out because when you go put to weld this back it'll catch on fire so you want to do that um i decided to basically that inner rocker will come right here and then the outer rocker will actually um, butt weld right here. So it'll look factory. And this also have that little uh, black cover piece over it or whatever, but you won't see it anyway. But uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be back to close to as factory as you can, you can get without having to, because the, the, outer rocker comes with this whole piece that goes all the way up underneath there well this is not rusted so i thought there's no reason to do all that extra work when i can just butt weld that right there so and again we're going to have 316 sliders these th things right here big badass suckers they're going to be up in there so it's going to really make this thing rigid plus that and the frame stiffeners on top of that Plus I've got side braces that are gonna go in there too. So that's it. I just thought I'd give you a real quick whatever and say, hey, this is what I'm doing. I know everybody's going, why? Um, like I said, cause I can, it's for a person I really care about. Um, and so I, I'm actually enjoying it. I'm having a good time doing it. It's been, been pretty fun and I'm learning some stuff. So it's good. Uh, cause I've never done a Jeep XJ. And so, yeah, but they're just like everything else. I mean, just sheet metal and that's about it. We're all driving around in pop cans. Um, at least the new pop cans have airbags and those are lifesavers for sure. Um, the old pop cans, my 68 Camaro, mm -mm. that's a dangerous dude. No airbags. I'm telling you, I see it all the time. Airbags save lives. 100% so because there's not a whole lot holding these things together it's just all sheet metal if you're hitting a hundred and some miles an hour and you hit a wall man it's like just crunching a aluminum tin can so be careful all right guys we'll talk to you see you